Hello everyone, I'm currently on a personal riding retreat in the south of England and taking a little bit of time to write and also uh, rest before the workshops of the fall begin. So for this time being, I'm not teaching any nonlinear sessions. Um, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a home practice instruction um, so that wherever you are in the world, you can practice uh, by yourself. And then of course, starting the end of August, I'll be starting to teach the hour long sessions again. And there's also teacher and practitioner training coming up on October 1st. But for right now, here are a few tips for a good home practice for when you are on the road or also if you just want to uh, stay in an embodiment practice even during a summer break. So as you can see, um, I am not anywhere where I even have a yoga mat. And so the first thing to say is you don't need a yoga mat. You don't need any special equipment to do a daily nonlinear practice or a regular nonlinear practice. The key is that you practice a little bit, but often. And for that, you don't need any special equipment. Um, I have a, a little mat here that I found on the side of the bed that I'm using currently, but a folded towel, a uh, blanket or any kind of rug will also do if you're on the road. Of course, if you're at home, uh, it's nice to have a nice padded yoga mat, perhaps with a blanket over it. So it's extra soft, but uh, you can also practice nonlinear uh, in other positions where you don't even need support on the knees. So traditionally, nonlinear is done on hands and knees because that gives us optimal access to the areas we're working with. But you could also practice on your back. You can even practice laying on a bed or uh, just in a chair. And uh, there's also other options like um, I practice in the shower, meaning any time I put uh, conditioner in my hair, I'll just stand there, close my eyes, move my body and kind of check in with my body while I'm waiting for my conditioner to do its job. So there's many ways that you can practice nonlinear, formal and informal. So in a home practice, what's important is that you do what you can regularly. So it's better to do a minute in the shower or 30 seconds while you brush your teeth or just a couple of minutes in between different chores than waiting till you have the perfect timing and the perfect setup. And then it only happens once a week or even only once a month, little and often. And whenever you can uh, really allows you to get into the habit of working with the body and giving the body the support uh, so that you can release and regulate. Some of the best uh, benefits of nonlinear are, of course, the regulation of the nervous system, the down regulating after a spike, either um, stress or something uh, that actually caused a bit of shock or trauma, but also just, you know, the hustle and bustle of regular daily life. So that down regulating is one of the big benefits. So is also the uh, sensitizing because sensitizing to what is actually happening in our body allows us to know if we do need to do any extra self care, if we need to rest, if we need to exercise, if we need to eat or stop eating, um, if we need to set a boundary or um, if it's a good idea to kind of connect with someone. All of that comes from sensitizing. And in a regular nonlinear practice, what you're actually doing is you're training your entire system to become sensitive to the messages that your body sends messages of yes, messages of no, um, high responsiveness to both pleasant and unpleasant sensations. So you can actually uh, navigate your life appropriately. And then of course, some of the other benefits of nonlinear are releasing things that are stuck or old, um, releasing bodily tension, emotional contraction, thought loops. Um, there is also uh, the connecting with pleasant sensation, either vitality, pleasure, aliveness that you can really foster by having a regular home practice. 
as I said earlier, a couple of minutes a day is preferable to an hour once a month or once a week. So find a few moments where you can get on a mat, on the ground, on a blanket and move your body either on hands and knees or on your back or even seated with music or without. Uh, music is not that important. There is people who don't actually enjoy using music because they feel that the music uh, influences their mood too much. So it can be really nice to just do it without music, perhaps with the sounds of nature. There's very beautiful rustling of a bamboo plant here um, and some sheep in the background and the wind. So that could be your background to moving or running water for instance or just uh, the beat of your own heart the breath uh, within your body could be the rhythm that you move with so it's not important you have music if you do like music as part of supporting your home practice we have a non-linear movement playlist which can be found on Spotify. Under my Spotify will also post links to that. Uh, that playlist is freshly updated with new music. Uh, there's all different kinds of music that will support you in your practice and you can always find the most updated version um, as well through the Nonlinear page on my website. The last thing I want to say is that of course uh, when I'm not on retreat I teach regular uh, one hour guided sessions where I guide you through the different modalities which will allow you to sink deeper into practice. And if you would like to learn all the deeper applications to nonlinear, as well as the background, as well as um, how to work with trauma and the regulation of the nervous system, and how to teach and facilitate nonlinear movement method, uh, we will have a practitioner and teacher training coming up October 1st. That's very in depth, regardless if you are already a healer or practitioner, uh, a teacher in your own right and want to add that to your repertoire, or if you're brand new to teaching and uh, you want to learn a method that you can facilitate the same way, let's say a yoga class is facilitated, um, this is a good program for you. But also if you just want to deepen into your own exploration with your own body, in this program we'll give you a real deep dive into all the different modalities. You'll spend a lot of time with Steve and I uh, where you can ask personal questions. I'll guide you through all the modalities and you'll learn all the background of the practice for whatever application you want to use it. So that starts October 1st, the early bird on that in September 1st. There'll be lots of links in uh, the various bios and comments. Uh, you can find all the information about teacher training, current sessions, all the resources around your personal nonlinear movement practice, as well as all our other workshops and events at michaelabohm.com. And we'll post all the links you'll need in the various bios and comments. And I hope I see you soon again in a live session.